Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. In this video guys I'm going to talk to you about uh, my first mining rig, how much it cost me to build, uh, what parts did I use to build it and obviously uh, how much I'm expecting in return of investment from my rig. So first of all let's look at the parts each one uh, and also look how much it cost me to buy and I'm then going to you know, and then we're gonna add it up and see how much it costed me in total to build the rig. So for the um, power supply, guys, I use uh, the Be Quiet Dark Pro uh, 10, 100, uh, 1000 sorry watts, uh, high-end uh, power supply. Uh, so far, it's been doing great. Very quiet. Uh, you can barely hear it, and it's doing the job. Uh, this guys costed me to buy. $197. Now moving on to the graphic cards, I use the uh, Sapphire Nitro Radeon RX 478GB, um, which it costed me in total $1605. Um, this is how much I managed to find them for. I bought them from the uh, UK. Um, so therefore maybe it was a bit more expensive let's say in the USA or somewhere else but this is how much it personally costed me $1605 and I bought them through Amazon um, so moving on into the motherboard I I use the ASRock H81 Pro BTC R2.0 very good motherboard a uh, lot of good uh, reviews uh, this motherboard um, it's uh, not longer in production therefore it is hard to find and when you find it like myself you end up pay, uh, paying premium and it for me personally it costed me $186 guys um, quite expensive but then again you know hopefully I'll make the money back quite quickly so it is a bit more than it, that I should it used to, but because it's uh, you know no longer in production, people tend to uh, sell it for much higher prices. I bought it through eBay.co.uk. Now moving on to the risers, I uh, use the version six of these risers. Um, again, so far they've been doing great. So this six riser costed me uh, forty-five dollars. Uh, obviously cheaper than what you can see here in Amazon um, so you have to obviously do your if you want to build your rig and you want to buy just do a research you know maybe eBay or somewhere else uh, much cheaper than what we see in terms of pricing here but this is the exact razor that I used here right uh, moving on to the processor uh, Intel Celeron G1840 2.8 gigahertz Personally, for me, it costed me $37. So again, much cheaper than what you can see here. Um, you know, it does the job. It's not the most powerful, but they, you know, for the rig, you don't really need uh, much more power in terms of your processor. So very good. Uh, again, all you gotta do is search a bit, and I'm sure you can find it cheaper. Uh, for the hard drive, I use the Kingston SSD. Uh, UV 400 120 uh, GB uh, for me personally it costed me $65 to buy uh, very happy with it um, more than enough in terms of uh, you know space so uh, good enough hard drive you can of course if you don't want this one you can probably buy a cheaper one or a different version maybe not even Kingston but I went for this one so I'm quite happy with it for the RAM guy, uh, guys, I bought the Adapter 4GB DDR3 uh, 1600MHz, I bought two, so my rigs currently are having 8GB uh, eight eight GB each, so I used two of these and they costed me $63 for both of them. So very good price I think, I'm quite happy with it. It's not a premium uh, RAM like Kingston Hyper or something but it does the job you don't need much in terms of when you know when you're mining and so that's actually the main parts 
uh, that uh, obviously you need. Uh, from there on, you know, I built the case myself. I used aluminium and um, wood. It costed me about, I'd say, ten dollars to build. You know, which is reasonable price. I'm happy with it. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I obviously bought the switch button to turn the computer on, uh, which it costed me about two dollars. Um, and I had to buy Ethernet cable to connect to the router, which it costed me about five dollars. Um, and this is really what you need uh, to build your rig. You may need some other things like, uh, you know, if you don't have maybe uh, buy a, a plug or maybe if you want to see how much your energy it's consuming, things like that. But that's not really when it comes to the actual rig. This is extras that you may want to, you know, buy, you know, for yourself. So let's add up guys how much it in total it costed me to build the rig and then we're going to look at uh, the return on investment that I'm expecting to make. So starting on 197 for the power supply, uh, 45 for the risers. Now the biggest cost guys you obviously going to have is the GPUs. So it costed me 1605. Uh, then moving on to the motherboard again. I bought quite an extended high price, but you know, it's a good motherboard I think it's worth its money. Of course, if you can find it cheap or on another board uh, Feel free to go ahead with it So I've just added the SSD and now uh, we're gonna add the RAM the AGB and the processor So in total guys it costed me let's say two thousand two hundred dollars which is uh, which is quite good guys. Uh, I'd say you know you obviously have to build it yourself. Okay, let me add the case as well. So ten dollars for the case For the frame uh, So yeah, two thousand two hundred and ten dollars uh, I think it's a good price of course I had to uh, I'm gonna add it while I'm talking again just to confirm it. So of course I had to buy the parts uh, source out the parts, you know uh, waiting for the parts and all this but I think it's worth it for the price that I got everything you can probably even find it cheaper depending where you are and depending what deals you can find yourself but I think uh, you know the the cost that I've personally spent it I think is not too excessive and the rig's been doing great um, yeah so 2000 two hundred and ten dollars guys which is I think once again very good price especially where I bought the game the RX 478 GB one they were you know kinda probably at a higher slightly higher price because again I came in when they were already disappearing from the market so this is how much I spent it guys uh, I'm happy with this price and now let's look at the return on investment now one thing I want to always say before that remember guys from here on you're gonna occur electricity cost which we're gonna take under consideration when we're doing the calculation however you may occur some parts failing hopefully not you may have to replace some parts but let's not you know let's think positive and imagine that nothing breaks for the next few years so going to I'm mining ethereum at the moment and I haven't done any BIOS modification or anything to the cards uh, except I undervolted them a bit um, the only problem I'm currently having is that one of I've, the riser is failing I think it's 40 therefore I'm only getting about 125 um, hashes mega hashes I should say um, but I will give you um, the actual return of this mining rigs which is about 150 mega hashes once I get the the riser fixed so therefore we're going to look at the return of investment for 150 mega hashes and again remember this is without bias modification if I do uh, modificate a bit if I play around with it I may reach up to 170 mega hashes and but let's look at what I'm achieving now so 150 mega hashes guys uh, power cost I put about 12 cents to be on the safe side and the cost we said is two thousand two hundred and ten dollars
my negative hero and I'm gonna hit calculate oops sorry well I wish I had that power so 1150 and let's see now as you can see guys immediately our return of investment is very good I mean 172 days for return of investment I think is pretty damn good um, of course this will change with time uh, usually difficulty does rise with time however we obviously looking at today and this is what we're looking at, about 173 days which is very very good now going down to the numbers um, let's look at after the power cost so daily I'm expecting to make $12.78 weekly uh, close to $90 and monthly $384 and annually $4,665 which is an incredible guys I mean I'm very happy with that you know, if I can mine myself $4,660 for the first year or having a 56 Ethereum in terms of coins, I'll be a pretty happy chap, you know. Very, very happy with it. Um, yeah, very good results actually. I'm, I'm surprised. And this is uh, for 150 mega hashes. So there you have it, guys. For 150 mega hashes, $4,664. Now let's look at if I do get them to 170 mega hashes um, so as you can see immediately the, the results are much greater 5,370 a year um, which is very very good and return of investment I'm only looking at that point 150 days which is incredible less than half a year guys which is very very good and of course again difficult uh, slightly rise but if you can hold because that's what I'm planning to do if you can hold your ethereum uh, if ethereum gets to about two three hundred dollars and even above we're looking at some incredible profits so there you have it guys this is what I have for you just a quick video showing you uh, how much I spend it to build the rig and how much I'm expecting to make out of it which I think is very good results now of course I'm also mining Genesis Mining and I'll do a comparison to, to, to the Genesis Mining but I'm very happy with the fact that I built my rigs and it looks like the results I'm expecting out of them are very very promising. Now once obviously the Ethereum moves to post I'll probably switch to Zcash or Ethereum Classic and see how things go. So a lot of people may ask themselves oh should I build a rig if the Ethereum is going to post. I think at the moment no one knows when the post will happen of course there are other altcoins that you can mine so you always will be able to make your money back and of course uh, afterwards you can switch to other coins another obviously good thing is uh, by having the mining rig is that if the parts don't fail uh, even if something happens in terms of mining you can always then resell your parts so can you imagine that uh, let's go back to the realistic uh, figures before we wrap up the video can you imagine uh, I make four thousand six hundred sixty four dollars uh, per year and then even if I stop at that point I can probably still may, you know get about one thousand dollars back or something by sending my uh, you know parts uh, to people so at that point I'm looking at close to six thousand dollars just for one year guys taking my investment away obviously I'm looking at about clear four thousand dollar profit which is incredible very very good I'm very happy with that uh, you know times it by two times it by three you can see how much money you can really make out of them and of course if you're holding the coins this could get to a much much higher profits if the price of coins rises quite significantly which I think it will it will take a while but it will eventually well thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, by the way, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to support me by subscribing to my channel. Um, and also, if you are with Genesis Mining like myself, feel free to use my uh, code for your upgrade. You can find it in the description section or in the comment section. And if you do that, uh, leave me your code and I'll return the favor when I'm doing upgrades as well. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.